More than a million dollars worth of Florida landscape paintings burned in a fire in Lakeland. Fox 13's Ken Sorez is on Florida Avenue where that blaze broke out. Ken? Denise, you know it's bad enough that the entire building was lost, but as you said, there was something inside much, much more important than just the bricks and mortar out here. Those landscape paintings, the wildlife paintings, document this state's natural history. The birds, the animals, the Everglades, they are all now gone forever. When this Army Navy store on the frame shop beside it went up in flames, it was an amazing spectacle full of sound and fury, leaving nothing behind. The fire gutted the building. It could collapse at any time, really. The owner, Hugh Turbeville, is taking an even bigger fall. He was storing his vast collection of Florida wildlife art here while he renovated a gallery a short distance away. Collecting the paintings was his life's work, his passion for the last 40 years. Hundreds of them worth millions, none of them insured, are all now gone. Any single loss of this many artworks at one time is a disaster. I mean, this is, you know, the huge proportions. Some of the, uh, the paintings that... At least a hundred of the paintings were done by Robert Butler, a so-called highwayman. The highwaymen were African Americans who started selling their work door to door back in the 50s. They are now highly acclaimed, well known, and very collectible. I imagine I should feel uh, much more heard about Hugh Turberville than, than I do uh, myself about those paintings because there's something that he gave part of his life to put that collection together. Turberville tells us instead of wanting to stay in bed and hide, I decided to start a new day. He hopes to begin collecting again. But first, he must deal with this. Investigators are still looking for clues why the fire started. Any idea where to start? Not at this point. Um, the only way to do it is to go in and dig around. And sift through what's left of the building and the treasures that were stored inside. Now, before fire investigators can do that, they have to bring in a structural engineer because the building is unsafe. He will check things out first. That could happen as early as tomorrow. Then they can go and sift and look for those clues. But the bottom line is, no matter why this fire started, Mr. Turbyville really is not going to be very consoled because he lost so much more than just the building itself. Denise? That's true. Ken Suarez reporting live in Lakeland. Thank you, Ken.